So then, if you haven't already guessed from my other videos that I actually like Pokemon. So much so that I bought some tat. Um, basically, I've been collecting weird Pokemon stuff or just bootleg stuff that looks a bit like Pokemon over the last few years and I decided to keep them all in this tin. There are some actual other stuff that I couldn't fit in for obvious reasons so I thought it would be fun to just take a look at some of the weirder things that you see in the Pokemon genre. If I can remember the openness. So what's the first thing we're going to pull out of this today? Let's have a gander. We got these. These are quite common to see really. It's Raichu looking like it's uh, kneeling down to take a shit. It's also got the word fashion on its tag as it were. Uh, suppose it is fashionable I suppose but uh, it's just a random word. Wouldn't really call Raichu a fashionable Pokemon. But uh, yeah. What is there really to say about this Pokemon other than it's Raichu vaguely uh, it's quite, oh, I wasn't going to say, it's quite durable and tough, but the ears just fall off, let's just, oh, okay, oh, there we go, they weren't particularly glued on well, here we go, who's that Pokemon? Hang on, let's take that off, there we go, it's a new Pikachu evolution. I wonder if the tail can come off as well. Oh, what's resistant? There we go. There we go. What do you think? Anyway, next one we actually have another one of these. Might as well get these out the road. We have Pichu, and he's a happy little chap. Does his ears fall off at the slightest? touch. No, they're quite durable. We've also got Pocket Monster on there and a Pokeball keyring item. This is pretty sturdy really. Um, I'm trying to break the ears off again. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot to say really about this one. It's certainly more accurate to the Pokemon it's based off of Oh, I'm trying to pull the cheeks off now. Yeah, I'll just put that to one side. Who's next? Oh, we have Pikachu in what is supposed to be Team Plasma's outfit, is it? Some, if I'm right. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks kind of like an R, so I was just trying to think that's not Team Rockets, it's Team Plasma from Black and White. As you can see, it's got the Pokemon logo there, and it's got Pikachu's happy face there. He's happy that he's been decapitated. It's a pretty nice little thick figure to get. Well, I'll say figure, but it's more of a keychain accessory. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. Who's next? Oh, Pikachu again, but... A slightly worse version. It's Pikachu the Rapper, MC Pika. He's got the words lovely on his cap. Oh, it's, is this the same? No, it's, it's different. So, it's a nice sturdy figure, I say, but, ooh. Better not to uh, pull his head off. Or he pull Raichu's ears off. Yeah, it's... You can tell it's Pikachu. Let's put it like that. So let's put that there. Is that the last... Oh, here we go. Here's another one. It's Umbreon. I think this is probably my favourite one out of these keychain figures. I mean, it does look like Umbreon. And it's got the word rainbow on it. 
I'm not entirely sure if uh, Umbreon is associated with rainbows. I would have thought that would be something more like Sylveon or Vaporeon's uh, feel, but yeah, this is probably my favourite one out of the bunch, just for aesthetically pleasing, but this one takes the cake in sort of... Wow. It's Psyduck. Full to the gills with crack cocaine, it seems, from the eyes. And for some reason he's got Palace written on his hoodie, so... Is he a royalist? I don't know. The uh, tag says he's adorable. I don't think so. He looks like he's just slammed his penis in the car door, really. Oh, well. What's next? Oh, yes, okay. So, before I show it, I want to say about the pre-bonus orders you get from Pokemon games. And Scarlet and Violet... I'm sure they had a load of good stuff to, you know, come with the game when you pre-order it. I know the game was selling the little statue figures of the Paldean starters, and that was really nice, and I thought, oh, I could get that, you know, see if I can get it, but then my family told me that they actually ordered the game from Argos, so what do you think Argos, of all places, would give? as a pre-order bonus. If you said lanyard, then correct. This is... This is it. I mean, it's a nice, sturdy lanyard, but really, it's... Uh, well, yeah. I suppose you can wear it to conventions if you want, but as you can see, you got the violet side on one side and scarlet on the other. It's Nintendo official, so it's no bootleg, but it's, you know, when you, when you have other nice pre-order bonuses, this is probably the worst thing you can get, so, yeah, not very good, really. So, what's next? Let's just get this one out of the way, really, because I can see it from here, and it's suffocating greatly. It is a bubblegum Pikachu. Here we go. Ooh, that's, uh, you know, I've had this thing in my possession for many years, and I've only just realised that the mouth print is off. A fair bit to the actual mouth. The painting is not very good, nor the cheeks really. You can just see. It's uh Yeah, it's it's a squish toy, so full of white powdery sugary stuff I think. It's I don't know, it could be toxic if it bursts. It might put a hole in my desk. It's a... Well, what more can you say? It's a bubblegum Pikachu, as I call it. But, uh... I suppose it does its job as a stress toy, but, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty certain that there's no pink variation of Pikachu coming soon to the Pokemon franchise. I bought this off a uh, market stall, so it will much like the keychains, so, yeah, you sit there, and what's next on the list, it's, oh yes, Battle Pack Rubbers, of course rubber is slang for condoms, so, Pokemon do official condoms, not really, no, for those who might not know, rubber is what British people call erasers, so let's take a look at these. Shall we? Yeah. I mean, I suppose they'll do well for rubbing things out. Uh, let's see, Thway Coco. It's not bad, really. Oh, it's already dirty on that side. I've only just taken out the package. Yep, Sprigatito. Oh. 
Quaxley's trying to do a handstand. Yeah, nothing really you can say about these. They're just rubbers of the Pokemon. And Quaxley, he looks happy to be out of the bag at long last. Is he as dirty? Yeah, he looks just as dirty. Uh, these were from the Pokemon magazines. I bought... I only got this because it came with some cards, you know, the fun packs to open. No, you know, and these are just like a bonus thing to go with it, so... Yep, yeah, they're just... Whatever. What else is in here? Oh, another rubber. The Pokeball rubber, and Ash and Pikachu are there. 100% official, 100% officially... A rubber. Oh! Oh, it comes apart! Okay. Just put that back on there. Put that back on there. Come on. I suppose that'll do. Yeah, it's... Uh, I suppose I can just... Put these guys up and see if I can catch any of them. Oh, okay. Those two are down. Let's see if I can catch Sprigatito. Bought him. Yeah, nothing really much to say about that. It's uh, flimsy to say the least. It's not the most. I suppose it'll be alright to just like use a bit and rub out stuff and then use the other bit. I'm just just going on a bit. What else is there to come? What's the. Ah, yes! Epic stickers. Where did I find this? Was it in a shop? No. Market stall? Nope. I found it in a caravan. When I went on holiday, I went to a caravan park and this was one of the things that was in it. So as you can see, it's a bit too big, but oh well. You got all the stickers of all the characters from Scarlet and Violet. You got the characters that you play as, those I don't really remember their names because they're so bland compared to all the others. You got the starters and uh, Lechonk and Smoliv, the legendaries Coridon and Maridon, Nimona, the names of the games and uh, what well, is essentially a box art. Yeah, so let's see how well they do as stickers. Pretty stuck on. There we go. Let's put you there. There we go. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, stickers. Right, what is left in here? Ah, right, okay. Let me just This is a co card as you can clearly see. Now normally when you open Pokemon cards you usually see the odd error card and you know this is the first time I've ever seen an error card on a code card. Are you ready? Let me just turn it round. Are you ready? Nothing! I. I was completely and utterly blown away by this when I first saw it. I thought, what, what's going on here? Where's the code? And I showed it to some of my friends and they thought that I'd actually uh, mocked it up. But no, this is official. This is the first ever code card that has no code. Is it a UV one? No, not really. It, it just has no code, so... Yeah, that's one of the weirdest cards I ever own, actually. And we've just about finished, but there's one more item, and it's one of these. If you don't know what it is, it is one of those guessing machines where it answers a lot of yes-no questions, and it has to identify the Pokémon you're thinking of. So, shall we give it a whirl? I'll start by saying Arbark. Let's see if it recognizes Arbark. Hello, trainer. Welcome back to the world of Pokemon. I can read your mind and guess which Pokemon 
you're thinking of. You just have to picture it in your mind and answer my questions. If I can guess which Pokemon it is, it will be added to yeah, your on, electronic collection. Think very hard of the Pokemon you want me to guess. Say okay when you're ready. Okay. Say okay when you're ready. Okay. Great. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Answer yes, no, or I don't know. You can also say it depends. Is it mainly red or orange? No. Uh -huh. Does your Pokemon have wings? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Is your Pokemon mainly blue like the sky? No. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Does it usually stand on two legs? No. Uh -huh. Interesting. Is it the evolution of another Pokemon? Yes. I see. Is your Pokemon weak against fire-type moves? It depends. Okay. Does your Pokemon have a tail? Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. Is it weak against water-type moves? Don't know. I see. Does your Pokemon have spikes on its back? No. Okay. Does it have black at the tip of its ears? No. That's what I thought. That's it. I got it. Something tells me you were thinking of Mamoswine. Is that it? No. Okay. Is it of two different types? It depends. Okay. Is your Pokemon originally from the Kanto region? Yes. Interesting. Is it mainly yellow like a banana? No. I see. Is your Pokemon weak against electric type moves? It depends. I see. Is it usually found underwater? No. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I know. If I'm not mistaken, you were thinking of Venusaur. Am I right? You weren't even close. Okay. Is your Pokemon a poison type? Yes. No. That's what I thought. I think I found it. I believe you were thinking of Arbok. Correct. Yes. Great. We found Arbok. Did you know that Arbok can grip and crush a steel barrel? Let's add it to your collection. Done. You can check your collection. We got there eventually. It got there eventually. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a fun little guessing game for five minutes. But really, that's about it. Really, and that's it for today. So yeah, let's see if I can capture this bubblegum Pikachu. No, I couldn't. Slam my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the car door. Oh.